Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to make this delicious roast chicken. We're gonna start with our brine. In a bowl that's large enough to hold your chicken, you're gonna start with a little bit of warm water. We're gonna add half a cup of salt and about three quarters cup brown sugar and let that melt in the warm water while giving it a good mix. And then we'll fill it up the rest of the way with some cold water, making sure to leave some room at the top for water displacement once we put our chicken in. Make sure to stir it the whole time so that the salt and the sugar dissolves in that water. Then we'll put our chicken in there, make sure it's nice and submerged and put it in the fridge for a few hours. We'll grab some herbs from our garden. I will put a list of the spices that I use in the description but we'll grab our butter, some minced garlic, and we'll add all of the seasonings that you saw lined up. Always season with your heart. And once you have all of your seasonings added, we'll make sure to add uh, salt and pepper to taste. And then we will mix all of that butter together. We're not gonna put any of the fresh herbs into the butter itself that will be reserved for the chicken for later. Now let's grab our chicken and drain it. We'll dump off all of that salt water and then you'll inside the chicken have all of the well gizzards and giblets and everything that the chicken comes with. I'm gonna remove those and rinse them off and set them aside for my chickens for later. We'll preheat our oven to 400 degrees. We want the chicken to reach an internal temperature of about 180 degrees. Make sure that we sharpen our knife with our diamond sharpener and we'll chop up some vegetables for roasting. I like to use tomato, carrot, celery, and then I also add lemon and onion. I always set aside all of my little pieces for snacks for my chickens, but anything that the chickens can't have, like onion or garlic that usually ends up going into my compost. We try to have zero waste in this house, so we do not throw away any scraps of food. Once you have everything chopped up, we're gonna peel up the skin on the breast and we're gonna put some butter in there and slide it up and then pat your chicken dry and add the rest of the butter to the outside. This is what it should look like. We will put all of those vegetables around it, making sure that we also put everything inside the cavity of the chicken itself because those aromatics will end up flavoring the chicken from the inside out. I forgot to cut my onion earlier, so that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> we'll cut it up into larger chunks because I do not want this to be so tiny that I can't remove it later. Put some of those inside the chicken, some around it, and then I use little slices of onion to make sure that any part of the chicken that's touching my dish, I put a little onion in between it. That way the chicken doesn't actually stick to the dish as it cooks. And that's what it looks like. We'll put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how heavy your chicken is, making sure to baste in between. Once we have reached an internal temperature of 180 degrees, this is what it looks like. And I served it alongside green beans, mashed potatoes, and a biscuit. It was so good. Follow for more.